The Seven Deadly Sins, Chapter 288, Operation Quote-Unquote God The pride tag is formed between uh, Rudesio and Esquinor to take on Zeldoris. Destroy the Mysterious Magic. And we got the subtitles, Mapping Death God. We got the Fu Manchu guy, okay? Former Second Captain of the Holy Knights. Head of the Four Archangels. Candidate for the Demon King. Belarun's daughter, Hasfire Demon, Lion Sin, the Diamond Holy Knight. Joe down between the holy and the evil. We got Eskinor, hold his axe, and the, the leader of four angels. Try not get sucked in. The truth we know now is with the power of the Demon King, so doors can completely nullify magical attacks. Furthermore, his original ability, Omnis Nebella, uh, draws us in with an incredibly powerful vacuum, then striking us with an invisible mysterious force before our own attacks can ever reach him. Okay. But what is the true nature of those invisible attacks? Are they created from some kind of dark energy? Or perhaps some still un unseen new assassin? Wait, does he have another one? Another person under him? I still don't have any idea, but from what my eyes can see, it's not his sword's work. Let's do this just as we planned. It's, not, it's like, not that we have any choice. Ruby shine, boom, huh? Sending two guys at him, huh? Cruel sun, it's like that darkness. Meteorite, huh? No matter how powerful any ability is. There will always be a blonde spot to it. So all this rubble's coming up. If he's just allowing us to attack him in order to counterattack us. Meaning, if he uses the same principle as full counter, we simply need to calculate the timing of his of his counterattacks to coordinate our own. Like all this rubble around him. Striking. Boom boom. What? Ah. Oh shoot. That's gonna be like her like just blown back. Oh was you it's like just stand there. How was he able to see through our attacks? We obstructed his field of vision. With the explosion from Eskinor's attack, our presence should have been camouflaged. And they're being sucked in. Just like holding on to the ground. Okay. This is a waste of time. I'm going to get serious. Oh shoot. What did he say? He pulled out the sword. Ah, Coming to slash. Huh? Got Hendrickson? Okay, Merlin. Is, uh, he's multiplied the speed and intensity of his vacuum. Ah, so Merlin's like getting sucked out. Hendrickson? Oh. He's gonna slash him. I won't be able to teleport in time. First, I'll eliminate you and take the commandment. Huh? Oh, Eskinor. I'm sorry. On the way? I just had to. I was powerless against my own heart. Merlin. Sure? Looks down. Huh? He's getting overpowerful. Like, since all these blasts from his back. Boom, 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 boom. Come down. Are the demons behind him? You trying to get me caught in this too? Huh? Okay. Got the rock just falling down. Boom! Massive damage. And rocks like this pain. Boom! Just around him. Like that aura. I can't believe it's this simple. And yet so unparalleled in its brutality. His ability doesn't depend on his sight or his sense of sight or hearing. Or even feeling the presence of those around him. It's like darkness all around him. The true nature of Omnis Nebella uh, is through an extreme ultimate state of concentration. He accelerates the darkness within his own body and spirals it around him, creating a vortex that pulls in all living things around him with a terrifying force. As if air were suddenly introduced into a vacuum. 
Any and everything that enters that area will be shredded to ribbons with such blinding speed that even the absolute spiral reflexes of the of the living organism could not dodge them in time. Simply, to put a name on it, it would be full react. Okay? But nothing can get close. It's like he's moving faster than light. And that's not even an exaggeration. He's able to even surpass the divine uh, territory of my grace. Flash. Huh? And what of it? Huh? Eh? That's the archangel going in. I have a responsibility. A duty to win this holy war. As the head of the four archangels. And as the leader of Stigma. Hendrickson? Magarat. Like, please, flashback? If sacrifice everything to accomplish that. Love, friendship, everything. I simply cannot comprehend you, despicable demons. When it, boom! Oh, shoot. Found the way. Guilt on her! Boom! Like sun flying. Oh, shoot. Yeah, Eskimo over there. All that's left are you. He's like protecting Merlin. Persistent little cockroaches. Just already. Please, just hang in there for one more minute. All right, I'm done making mistakes too. Okay, she's. What's she doing? Super combo teleport. What? Esnor's going in. You're able to walk freely, completely unaffected by my ominous nebula. Are you some kind of monster? Be it Melodis or Esterosa. Seems all you brothers are just dying to get the stuff pounded out of you by me. <laughs> Where have I felt this magic before? Like, finger? Like, oh, it's like the aura from him. The time has come. The one? That is the one. Ren has the ultimate vainglorious existence across heaven and earth. What? Even at the even at an overwhelming disadvantage, his pride never falters. This one minute is their only chance. The one steps into action. What the heck is gonna happen? For his one minute of high noon, he be uh, he becomes and he becomes an incarnation of invincibility and and unpar unparalleled strength. The one is unleashed. She was about. And the next chapter is called Pride vs. Piety. So it's, it's actually like noon. So it's like, it's like upper, upper limb is like way up. So I'm guessing like next chapter is like all that brawl between the ultimate darkness and the ultimate Sun. Like, the whole chapter is like just about uh, figuring out full reaction. And Merlin came up with a plan. Did she do something to him? Full react. It's like Gil Thunder got slashed. Horribly. Let me get. Who got hidden? Oh. Is, did he get decapitated or. or like. kind of half? Or did he go in a hole? Like. There's like one panel where it's like dark be uh around Gil Thunder. After uh Hendrickson says Gil Thunder an explosion. Like on the far left on the bottom. Hmm. So that's when I was going in. The one. The heck It's gonna be some time level stuff. I wonder would the win like against Eskimo and like the Demon King, like 
no replacement, just the Demon King. Like, before Milos, like, took off his arm. Uh, well, um, what are your thoughts? And, um, if you're new, subscribe or comment. Thank you for watching, and have a good rest of the day. Bye.